Welcome to Culture Wire. I'm your host, Meg Schiffler. San Francisco is home to a renowned civic art collection that includes such iconic works as the Coit Tower murals, as well as a wide variety of art by local and national artists that is integrated into our public buildings and civic spaces. Over the years, the Arts Commission has really struggled to take care of this priceless collection due to limited resources. In an effort to gather more funding toward the maintenance of the collection, the Arts Commission has joined forces with the San Francisco Art Dealers Association to establish Art Care, a new initiative that provides a way for the public to get involved. Director of Cultural Affairs, Louise Cancel, recently met with Art Care founder and local gallery owner, Ruth Bronstein, to check out the first Art Care project. Welcome to Culture Wire. Many San Franciscans are not aware that the city of San Francisco has a civic art collection that numbers almost 4,000 works of art. And preserving that collection and maintaining it is something that is being addressed by a new program called Art Care, which is a way for citizens to participate in the preservation of this civic art collection and this treasure. With me today is Ruth Bronstein, the creator the, uh, of the Arts Care program. Welcome, Ruth, to Culture Wire. Nice to be here, and it's wonderful to see the piece done. And the reason we wanted to be interviewing you for this is that the artist in question is Peter Volkus. That's right. And why is Peter Volkus so important to the history of San Francisco art? He's the one who freed uh, people from making pots to making ceramic sculpture. He's a very famous ceramicist, and knowing of the limitations of clay, he got involved in, in the bronze around 1961-62 while he was teaching at the University of California in Berkeley. And I know that your gallery, which is actually this year celebrated its 50th anniversary right. of continuous operations, you were a pioneer in introducing the work and representing the Peter Volkus. Well, I represented him since 1966, but I wasn't really the person because I wasn't in business until 1961. And he, uh, he made it big, quote unquote, since he started working in clay because this work that he was doing was things they have never seen before. Well, it's a, it's a large scale bronze and uh, it has now been sitting here at the Hall of Justice since 1971. Could you talk a little bit about what happens to a work of art that's out in the elements all this time? This big problem involved with when the uh, Arts Commission commissioned this piece, they didn't put away money set aside for, for repair or work. And it, 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 this one has just sort of slowly changed color over the period of time. Now I'm seeing it now, it's very exciting because it was black just like this. And so it's been restored it's been to been restored the patina now. that yeah. it originally had when it was commissioned. That's right, and luckily there's been no damage done to it. And there was no damage done by the whole community, which I think is unaware, unusual. I don't think there was any, um, any, any, any holes made in it, and, uh, and uh, they've been working on a piece for almost six or eight weeks now, and it's practically ready to go, and very exciting to have sat next to it and patted it uh, to see that it really got done, and it has a date. Over the course of the history of, of the Art Enrichment Program, um, it, we have added almost 800 works of art to, into the public space. Yeah. Uh, but maintaining that is not something that the bond funds allow us to, to do. So this is one of the reasons why you kind of came up with the idea of art care. Uh -huh. What is your hope for art care in the future? Well, my hope is that we get a committee going of the whole community and give people who really like to be involved a chance to be involved. Especially if you're interested in art, then this is a marvelous way to get involved. Uh, there is um, work all over the city, wherever you go. And you live in a neighborhood and there usually is a piece or two in the neighborhood. And my idea was to get the people in the neighborhood to take care of the pieces and not the, have the Arts Commission have the money for some of the really bigger, bigger pieces. I was talking to uh, the former president of the Arts Commission, Ray Taliaferro, yeah, uh -huh. yesterday, and, and the 2% ordinance was something that he helped to champion. Yeah, well, it, this is all over California now, and it's all over many, many other, many other states, too. 
in the United States. So it's a, we really were the forerunners, and uh, uh, it's, it's a wonderful thing to bring the community into this now. And because people who have, you know, taken, seen art being put into, uh, into the community, this piece has not been touched with any graffiti. I don't think we saw any graffiti on this piece. Yeah, it just faded over time. It faded over time, and that's all it did. And you know, and, and it's it's open. It's so open here. It's you know because there's nobody watching this. Right. And so I think that's a, a plus to the community. And I hope that all the graffiti people don't go out there. But I'm opening up my mouth. I'm not going to tell you exactly where it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ruth, really, I wanted to thank you for the 50 years that you've already given this city as, a, as, a, as an arts leader. Well, I started in Tiburon, <laughs> yeah. so it's only 45. <laughs> and, um, you know, really thank you for, you know, introducing, you know, Peter Volkus's work and championing it over all these years. Well, it's been very exciting to working with him and uh, it's one of the highlights of my life. Thank you for being part of Culture Wire today. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're done. To learn more about the Art Care Program and the list of public art in need of maintenance, visit sfartscommission.org slash artcare. Thanks for watching Culture Wire on SFGov TV.